There are three essential tools to facilitate the recovery of an avalanche victim, a transceiver, a shovel, and a probe. In addition, your group needs a way to communicate with emergency services. Hi, I'm Erica Engel, and I am an AMGA certified mountain guide and a member of the ARI instructor trainer team. An avalanche transceiver should be digital and have three antennas. Buy this new or rent one from a reputable outfitter. An avalanche probe should be a minimum of two meters or about six feet long. You want something you can assemble quickly and that has a reliable locking mechanism. So it should be a dedicated avalanche probe, not one associated with ski poles or other tools. Your avalanche shovel should also be a dedicated piece of equipment, not the same one as you use to build kickers or dig out your sled. The blade should be metal and come apart from the handle so that both parts can easily fit inside your backpack. In general, a cell phone can serve as your contact to outside help. Make sure you have enough battery to last the whole day. Other options when you don't have cell service, include satellite communication devices and radios capable of contacting emergency services. Your essential equipment, transceiver, probe, and shovel, can save your life or your friend's life. Treat the equipment accordingly and keep it in good condition. This is basic required equipment for each individual backcountry traveler. Make sure each member of your party has these items in your pack or vest on their person anytime you go into the backcountry. Thank mm -hmm. you.